Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to set up an automatic transfer for all of your DVR recordings through Windows Media Center 8. It'll work on earlier versions as well, and that way you won't have to manually transfer your recorded shows. So before getting into the specifics, uh, this video is really intended for home theater PC users who are tired of transferring their recorded shows or movies off of their local hard drive, which is Windows Media Center's default location. You're going to need a Windows Media PC set up to view and record live TV. If you don't have that, you're probably getting ahead of yourself, but if I described your situation, this video is for you. So conceptually, the way this works is pretty simple. All you do is have your computer recognize when Windows Media Center makes a recording and have it run a script that we're going to write all the script says is move from your hard drive to somewhere else. All of this happens in the background and you don't even know about it. It's pretty cool. So let's get into it. Okay, step one is just to write the instruction script. Here it is. First you need to create a command um, to transfer everything from a source, which is where your recordings originate, over to your external destination which for me is a NAS, but it can be a server computer or um, you know, a drive you got plugged in to your computer, whatever you want. The sky's the limit. Um, you can transfer it to your beach house in Florida if you want and you're doing this in LA. There's really no limit to it, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it a little more simple than that. If you're not used to all this, that's fine. I can explain it really quick because this is a very simple command. Robocopy is what you use to transfer from di to f different physical locations. This first quote is where all of um, my, the recordings on my computer originate. That's where Windows Media Center records to by default. Yours is likely going to be similar. And then this is just the network location where I want my recordings to go. So first quote is source, the next one is destination, you're going to set that for your computer. This next thing, um, this is telling everything in the source, it looks for anything with an extension WTV, and that's a Windows TV format. Windows 8 uses that. Um, if you have an earlier version of Windows, you just go to the source location, look for your recordings, and dot whatever it is, that's what you'll put here, star dot whatever it is. Windows 8 users as of uh, 10, 7, 13 today will use dot WTV. Um, slash move, That's that makes it work like a cut and paste rather than a straight copy. You don't want two copies of this. You just want one moved from one location to another. Um, if you do actually want two copies, then don't include the slash MOV. Uh, this slash Z is really useful. It makes everything so that if uh, you're recording, say, your 30 gigabyte uh, TV recording over to wherever you want, and your kid or your friend knocks out the plug or the um, computer you're transferring to crashes, whatever, it'll just pick up where it left off rather than starting it again. So that's what that is. Um, Step two is to use Windows Task Scheduler to recognize when Windows Media Center creates a recording and have it launch the script we just made. So here is how that works. Okay, this next part is we have to go over to Computer Management. Um, if you have Windows 7, you can click the Start menu and right-click Computer, but I have Windows 8, um, so I just do it from the desktop. Right-click, go to Manage, and you're going to get this Computer Management screen. Task Scheduler, Create Task, uh, name it something like Auto Transfer, DVRs, or whatever. As long as it makes sense, you need to be able to find this later in a long list of hoopla so be as descriptive as you can as you can you want to click run whether or not logged in run with highest privileges I'm going a little faster than I would because everything's written out but 
basically I'm just showing you for visual help after you read the description so this is really the key uh, here is we're going to set this up on an event and basically you're going to tell the computer to look for um, two different events because there's only two different kinds of recordings that can happen within those media center. There's scheduled recordings and uh, manual recordings. Like the manual is one is just when you press like the record button on your computer yourself and then you know you schedule it ahead of time. That's the rescheduled one. But the event ID for a manual one is one and then the scheduled recording is three. You're gonna make two new triggers. Um, both of them are gonna be the same with the event ID is different, so you're going to type M for Media Center there. Source is going to be Recordings on the drop down, the recording. Um, event ID, the first one is going to be one. We're making two different triggers. Um, and then all this stuff can stay unchecked except for delay task for. As long as you want, this helps with stability. I usually just put like a minute because you know it'll wait. It'll make sure the file's written, and uh, then it'll start. And then you'll actually do it again. Uh, everything the same, except for uh, like I said before, it's going to be a three. So, yeah. That's going to say okay, whenever a manual or scheduled recording logs then take this action and the action is going to be to open this like instruction we made um, over with notepad it's going to be this you just you know save it somewhere that makes sense I keep it actually in this path where, where my recorded TV is uh, just so I can find it later you need to find it because when you go back to the create task under actions you want to start a program. Essentially, before with Notepad, we wrote, wrote a little program that says to copy, to, to move your recordings over. So just browse to the area where you keep it. Mine is there. Press OK. And now what you did is it says, when any of those two recordings happen, then launch the transfer command. Boom. And the final functional step for this is to point Media Center toward the folders so it knows where these recordings are. Here's how that works. Um, you just gotta go over to tasks and we're gonna, basically what we're gonna do is specify the um, destination folder to be recognized as a recorded TV folder. So go to tasks, settings, down to media libraries and then set your recorded TV, uh, add folder, it's a library. Uh, mine's on a network drive, but that, as it says right there, includes uh, map network drives on the computer. So what I did is I just went over oops, to my location, just navigated to it, and I keep everything in uh, shared videos, recorded TV. See, it's, ar it's already checked there. Oops. It's already checked. It's because I've done this already. Um, but you would just check wherever your location was. And then it should be fine. Go over your TV, your recorded TV. And I notice that everything is there. Um, once. If you kept two copies, you'll see everything there twice. Not the recording. Amid the fury, so a 30 ton giant yeah. rises from the blue, dwarfing the spectacle. Cool. There's that. And then uh, just to show you that this all works, um, I want to just stop this recording because it's loud. And I'm going to show you that. Under TV recorder, 
uh, recorder storage. The only place you can do is like connected drives. Um, so it's going to my C drive, right? And to prove it works, I'll show you that my recordings in the default location under users, public, recorded TV, it doesn't actually have any um, recordings in it. Um, they're all to the place where I specified and I didn't actually go through and do that myself. It was all automatically done. So here's the uh, network drive where I put it on. Shared videos, recorded TV, and those same things we just saw. Deep Blue, Bob's Burgers, Project One Way. Um, Windows Media Center is just all pointing to this folder. Um, and that's it. Everything should work. Again, if it doesn't, um, you don't need to restart your computer just to get it to transfer, but just know next time you restart your computer, it will transfer. You, uh, you're going to have to restart your computer. If you don't, It's you're going to get errors, and you might get errors anyway. Um, I've gotten a lot of errors. You might get, you don't have permission to open this folder, access denied. If you can if you can click on the folders and open them in Windows Explorer, you have sufficient permission. Windows is just a little buggy, so um, that's fine. It will work eventually. The way we set it up is the robocopy command is going to keep trying again and again until it finally transfers. And if you restart your computer on a regular basis, um, it's just going to end up happening. You don't have to worry about it. It's the great thing about having it set up this way. Um, you just, it'll power through the air. If you have any Don't questions, worry. put them in the comments. I'll try to answer what I can, but just try to check things like your syntax on the, um, the bat file we made through notepad. Make sure you don't have like a quotation mark in the wrong spot or no space or an extra space, little, you know, things. Um, make sure you have everything set up in the different tabs for task scheduler correctly and finally make sure that you have um, Windows Media Center pointing to the right folders once that's all set up should be good go back all right there you go that's all three steps good luck